Today we will be reviewing Travelodge Bath Central. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. So welcome to this refurbished room at the Travel Lodge. So this is a massive room. We checked in downstairs and Marcus told the receptionist that he was a really bad sleeper and insomniac. And then I think she initially had us on the second floor, but then he asked whether there was like a quieter room, but then she said, okay, there's something on the second floor, which is secluded, but then it's much smaller. And then she had a browse around and then she found this room on the first floor and this room is towards the back of the building away from the main street in the front area so this is a three person room so we have a i believe this is like a king size or like a queen size bed and then over to the left we have a single bed which is like a single cot so there are two beds and we have this lovely little sofa on the side which is where i will probably be sitting um on occasion Well, there is a lovely bath and shower for Marcus to bathe in because he always whinges about, oh, we don't have a, a bath, so I have to take a shower, but not in this instance. So I think this bath isn't too um, deep, so I think this would be good. Just don't fill it all the way to the top because you know how you are, Marcus. So this is a pretty big mirror um, and there is ample space to have your toiletries and there is a sink. Speaking of the sink, it seemed a bit clogged before so it was kind of stuck and then I had to like push this um, part of the plug in to let the water out because it was just stuck and it so I'm not really sure why it's so um, rigid so there's also the hand soap on the side and that's pretty much it pretty no frills one thing I must say is that we do hear certain noises I'm not sure whether there's someone on this side or that side I don't think that there's anything on our right be because we're down the corridor so it doesn't make sense so it might be from another building or maybe it's from upstairs but it does seem quite tall between here and the ceiling so i do appreciate the fact of it being really airy i think it is a bit cold which is why I still have on my hoodie because I would freeze. Um, speaking of freezing, we do have some heaters next to the wall. I think that one of them might not be working, which is why they provided another one to be plugged in. I think it's really good the fact that we have all this space. There's a like lot of different cupboards to put your bits and bobs. There is an extra blanket up here and there are three pillows right here for the three people which are supposed to be in this room. So maybe it is a good idea 
that we had the bigger room. Another advantage is that we have three cups with three spoons and I believe this is enough for either three or four people. Now let's talk about the TV. The buttons did not work going upwards and downwards on the main screen so that was a bit of a pain. So I wasn't really happy about that. They also didn't have BBC3, so I wasn't able to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, I do watch that. But I wasn't able to watch it because they didn't have that channel. Here's another thing. Travelodge only provides 30 minutes of free internet usage. Otherwise, you would have to pay £3 per day. So I only used it for 30 minutes, 30 consecutive minutes. So I will not be able to use it until 24 hours have elapsed. So I think this goes to show that you need to be very wise when and if you use it because there might be an emergency or whatnot. So I think if you do decide to stay at the travel lodge, maybe you should have extra data or be prepared to pay for the Wi-Fi that is chargeable by the travel lodge. One feature that I do like about this travel lodge room is that there are a USB socket on this side and also on the other side of the bed as well. This sound machine uses the USBs. So let me demonstrate this for you just now. So the lights just went on and now let's press this button. And this gives you white noise because it does help one go to bed. So this is a pretty nifty gadget to have, especially when you are traveling. Well, I think that we do have a sufficient amount of plugs. There's one behind the TV. There is two here. I think there might have been one next to Marcus's side of the bed. Uh, would that be four? Okay, another thing that we also bring is this... Um, this is one of those charger bits that have plug sockets as well as the USB um, chargers so that you could charge either your mobile, your um, other gadgets. So I think this is very, very nifty. I'm not really sure where we got this from, but this is a handy to to have especially in the hotel when you're not really sure how many sockets they're gonna have on offer and finally we have the curtain i don't think that this curtain is big enough to cover the entirety of the window area because i think that there's like a little bit that is coming through along the side so let's wait and see whether or not the sunlight will illuminate the room and wake me up in the morning maybe that is going to be a good thing but maybe i do need my sleep which is why i like it nice and dark so come back after this break where i will be reviewing what i thought of this travel lodge Don't get caught spying on someone's YouTube channel. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Well, our stay at the Travel Lodge Bath Central has come to an end. And for the most part, the reviews are not in their favor. It's pretty dismal, actually. First thing. 
we left the thing on the door to indicate that we wanted our room serviced. The person that was making up the room, he saw that we were coming out and I think he saw that we left the we want our room serviced sign um, on the door, but for some reason our room wasn't made up. So that is the first thing that was not in his favor. So we had to go downstairs and we spoke to the lady at reception. I think it took her maybe 10 minutes to um, bring the towels that we wanted because ours was all wet and soggy. The lady at reception was flustered. I'm not sure she knew what she was looking for and I think she was a bit um, taken aback and kind of surprised, but I think she was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, so it's kind of like, okay, get us the fresh things that we wanted and yeah. So that wasn't a really good start to the stay or the, that isn't a good reflection on the hotel. Another thing that wasn't good either was the fact of the soap dispenser in the shower, it completely ran out, it was empty. I don't know why the staff here did not refill it. I think it's just kind of like, okay, it hasn't happened to us ever before. So it was very shocking to realize that, okay, gosh, we've run out of soap, we've run out of um, shower gel, Luckily for us, we did go to the charity shops and we did pick up something from one of the charity shops, but that is besides the point. The point of the matter is, is that the hotel should be providing you with ample shower gel and shampoo and or soap for the duration of your stay. So this is a major black mark for you, Travel Lodge, because I shouldn't have to use my own shower gel soap. So a major black mark for you. Another thing that I did notice was that the travel lodge did not have a hair dryer. Yes, I do have hair that needs to be combed or blow dried, but it's kind of like all hotels have hair dryers. So why doesn't this one have a hair dryer? It doesn't make sense. There is a major noise pollution noise situation here. Marcus had to wear earplugs for the first time in a very long time because there was a bit of thumping on the Friday night. It was kind of like... <laughs> uh, I don't think that it was coming from the rooms in here in the hotel. It was coming from the club downstairs or next door. I'm not really sure what the other rooms were like, um, but I would imagine that the noise pollution would have been really bad. So we read reviews after about noise troubles and I believe the room was 108 where it said that the noise went on until after three o'clock in the morning. So I think if you want a good night's sleep, I'm not sure the travel lodge would be the best choice for you. Um, on reflection, we read so many bad reviews and responses and then we thought, oh my gosh. Like, it's kind of like, I think if we read all these reviews, we would not have booked to stay at the travel lodge because who wants hassle and who wants inconvenience of getting a, a good night's sleep being hampered or not having one at all. On TripAdvisor, there were over 500 terrible reviews of the Travel Lodge Bath Central. So I think these reviews were overwhelmingly terrible and they were in the majority and they received more terrible reviews than any other type of reviews. So I think that that goes to show that the Travel Lodge right here is a disgrace to be honest. One of the main reasons why we wanted to stay at the Travel Lodge was because of their refurbished and newly done up rooms. But we haven't really seen any other difference because the noise is coming through and 
there isn't any upgrade that we could physically see. So I don't think that we will ever be staying at a travel lodge hotel ever again because of this dreadful experience. One final thing, because the room wasn't serviced, they did not take the rubbish that accumulated from the first day. So now there is such an accumulation of rubbish because of that fact. So this is another singing bad review of the Travelodge. And I hope that you don't think that our YouTube episode today was rubbish. If you did like it, hit the like button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, do so as well. And especially, we would like to ask those of you that have not subscribed already to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. It's free and it's quick to do and you will get updates on future episodes. And until next time, we will see you later.